All right, welcome back to your eighth tutorial on how to create Excel documents. So, let's see, what can we do today? So, what the aim for this tutorial is, we are going to resize cells. Because, as you can see, this one is kind of crunched in there. So, we can make it a little bit higher and a little bit wider. So, we can see the scrambled eggs big and nicely. So let's see how we can do that. First let's change the row height. Uh, for that we're going to get the row from the cell. So I guess we could say uh, cell.getRow and with the row we can change the row height. So all we have to say is get row dot set height uh, and I like to set the height in points which is equal to the points of the, uh, of the font. So I'll just set it to something like 30. Let's see how that turns out. So let's open up test1.excel and as you can see, the height of the row changed and it is in fact 30 points. So next we'll just change the column width. How are we going to do that? Well, we actually can't do that from the cell. We have to do it in the sheet. So we have to say sheet dot set column width. And it's going to take two parameters. The first one is going to be uh, which column it is going to be. So the column uh, A we want to change, which which is the column number zero. And uh, now it's going to ask for an integer as the second parameter. And we have to give it a pretty big number. So let's say something like uh, seven thousand, because uh, those seven thousand are not the it are not the height in points, it's just the width in uh, something I didn't figure out yet. Maybe it's the smallest number that Excel accepts somewhat, I don't know. So let's open up Excel, our project. And now we can see that the width changed as well to 26.5 points and which is 5.8 centimeters I guess um, all right so that's how we resize cells we could do actually something else so now that we know how to resize cells I'm just going to delete that again so I'm just going to delete the column width and row height so let's see what else we could do uh, if I just open up test one Excel again so what I have thought of, we could also maybe merge those cells together. So, you know, if we have the column from uh, A through D and 1 through 5, we could try to merge them. And so we get a nice box from A through D and 1 through 5. So we can do that too. And for that we have to import something. And... Guess what? It's not in the user model package. Surprise, surprise. It's in the util package. So we have to import org apache poi ss util and in there there's a class called the um, cell range address. And with the cell range address we can basically create a certain cell range and if we want to, you, we can merge them. So let's try to do that. All we have to do is typing in sheet dot add merged region. And of course it's going to ask for a cell range address. And we're going to create a new one. So new cell range address. And as a parameter we have to type in four numbers. Uh, two of them or the first two are going to be the uh, left, uh, the the top 
Wait, let me think. Uh, so the first two numbers are going to be the top row to the lowest row, and the last two parameters are going to be the columns, so the first column to the last column. So of course we want it from the row number 0 to row number 4, and column number 0 to 3. So uh, column number 0 is going to be I'll just make a little note there so it's easy to understand. That's the column and that's the row. So as you can see it's from the row number 0 to 4 and column number three, uh, 0 to 3. Let's run that. Hopefully we don't get any, get any error messages. Nope, we don't. And let's open up test one at Excel. And as you can see, we have a merged cell region from A to D and 1 through 5. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.